Welcome to another video. In case you guys are new here, my name is Rory. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys along for a full day of eating from the perspective of someone on the go, or if I were a broke college student, how I'd eat to get my calories in when I'm rushing between classes. This could be my first full day of eating video that I actually make, so I wanted to take a different approach than what the typical full day of eating video looks like and do it from a perspective of someone, like I mentioned before, that's on the go or a broke college student or whatever it may be because a lot of the times with the full day of eatings that you see on social media or YouTube, it's a picture perfect day of what they might eat, but 95% of the time they don't actually eat like that, so it's not realistic. It just so happens that today, being Tuesday, is my busiest day of the entire week with school. Um, so it works out perfect that I quite literally am on the go today and I also had no meal prep food for the week yet because uh, we haven't gone to Costco for this week. So I'm living the life of a broke-esque college student who is literally on the go because I have class the entire day today. Um, so hopefully this video will help you guys find some different options or if you just don't have time to do certain things where you can go to not break the bank every single day hopefully you're not doing this every single day but um, it still hits your macros whatever it may be whether you're bulking or eating maintenance or whatever so my last two videos have been day in the life and a day in the weekend so I'm not really gonna be diving too much into that in this video but what I will say, given that it is my busiest day of the week, I woke up at five this morning and uh, started working around 5.15, and then um, started actually doing the full day of eating around 6.30 uh, to get ready for the gym, 6.20, 6.30, and then I'm running slightly behind this morning just because uh, filming made my little bit of the morning take a tiny bit longer but um we're gonna go meet levi and hit a chest workout this morning and then i have my first lecture at 10 30 um and then that pretty much from the moment i have my first lecture i'm busy in class all the way till 8 p.m and i'll get home around 9 p.m tonight so super long day diet is going to be super important today so i actually perform well in my classes and don't start to feel like crap throughout the day. One of the big things with my accounts is that I'm not just a fitness account. Fitness is a massive part of my lifestyle, so I show those parts and show what works for me, and maybe it'll help some of you. Uh, same with the nutrition. It, I'm solely just showing what works for me, and it may work for you. Um, but with that, a full day of eating video doesn't just have to be about fitness content. In fact, this specifically is going to be more on the education side of the house because last week for this exact day, my busiest day of the week, I ended up getting one of the worst migraines I've ever had in my life, which I'm already susceptible to migraines. And one of my triggers for migraines actually is food. So diet is a huge, huge, huge thing. And if you have too much of one thing and not enough of the other, or you just don't have a good diet going into the day when you have a ton of stress from your workload, stuff like that, you're more susceptible to things like migraines or strain or whatever it may be. Um, so that's one of the main things that I want you guys to take away from this video. Cousin work the ship, uh, moving with the brightest, know the touch probably the most. 
slightest If I exit, I'm excited Cause my father up in here, huh, yeah I've been fighting battles on my lonely I struggle to be still And know that he God, it's his will Even when I sleep, the angel on me I don't got it, it ain't in me No, it's on me, yeah I know I've been a target I know they been heartless Please don't test me We gon' benchmark it No, they been ready But we been started They say life changed the celebration way up in heaven Well, we gon' need probably ten parties Probably more, you see If we ever shoot our shot, it's from the court, you see I had classmates who never left the porch, you see Ain't no cooling on this movement, we face scorching heat We send light out to the dark places Big numbers like car payments Can't nobody eat in our space Cause everybody tryna shark tank it Everybody want the big numbers Everybody want the light Everybody wanna live Don't nobody want a life Changed the bear, my life was there, my prayers were heard, I'm free uh, Seen the call, I heard the voice, I need to jump, I leave uh, I've been fighting battles on my lonely I struggle to be still, and know that he God, it's his will uh, Even when I sleep, the angel on me I don't got it, it ain't in me, no, it's on me uh, Yeah, I know I've been a target I know they been heartless uh, Please don't test me, uh, we gon' benchmark it uh, Know they been ready, uh, but we been started Got down working out with Levi. Time to hit the road and get to class. So that goes for almost two hours. I'm gonna have a quick snack before I go do that. I have that MetaRx like Oreo cookie crunch bar. It's 410 calories and then I have a banana which is another 100 calories. Uh, for the total for the snack, it's gonna be like 37 grams of protein and 67 grams of carbs. So it'll be a good little pick me up energy wise for the rest of the day before I get home. Because once I get home, I have to do a little bit more homework and then we'll have uh, some more food once we get back there. It's a good snack on the go. You can just pick up. It's not super cheap when you're buying it at campus, but if you're gonna pick it up somewhere else or just a bar and a piece of fruit in general is a good way to go. It's a quick 500 calories and I'm getting a good amount of carbs and protein in, in between my classes. Just got off the public transit, gonna head home now. Still got about two and a half meals, the half being protein shake smoothie um, for the day. And that'll round out my calories. Uh, right now, my actual macros that I'm trying to hit is right around 4,000 calories, which is uh, typically around my maintenance. Usually I'm 4,000 to 4,200 for uh, maintenance, but I'm gonna actually start bumping that up because my running volume and training is gonna be picking up this week. So I'll probably be sitting around 45 to 4,600 calories going forward. Overall for the day I'm at 17.59 for calories across the two meals. Meal two is really, really high in protein, um, but, uh, and carbs as well, but not nearly as many carbs as I normally would get because typically on my days that I meal prep, I get one and a half to two cups of rice. So that adds a ton of calories for the day and even more carbs to help fuel my next days and the following subsequent days after that, it's workouts. Um, still sitting at a good carb and protein uh, number so far across the first two meals. And I'm gonna get even more through my dinner, uh, my post homework meal and my uh, protein shake smoothie as well.
I just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Elevate. Yes, I'm talking about this Elevate. My company, Elevate, will be dropping some new products this spring, starting with the Rogue Camel Box TV that we're currently testing. It's gonna be coming in five total colorways, starting with this one, and each one's gonna have their own unique background and camo pattern. Aside from the Rogue collection that we're gonna be added to, we also have a bunch that's coming for the Sentinel collection that you can see here. Starting with a lightweight minimalist hoodie that's gonna be coming in a few different colorways, perfect for spring. It has an embroidered chest logo and the Elevate branded logo along the sleeve. Since hats are some of our best sellers, especially our training trucker caps, we decided to drop another one as the warm months approach. Like our Rogue Camo Box Team, this hat's gonna come in a few different camo options as well. You can see the multi-cam black option right here. But we'll have a few solids as well if camo's not your thing. That's gonna do it for this sponsor shout out. Be sure to give Elevate a follow at ElevateGRP.co and check out our website at ElevateGRP.co. Thank you guys for watching the video thus far. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Enough of this, let's get back to it. breakfast if you want to do it too we got the honey cacao powder sea salt big fat scoop of peanut butter and then one to two scoops of protein whatever you want to use for your protein i just use this stuff because you can get it at costco cheap so it's good for smoothies and uh doing stuff like this like pancakes or oatmeal and stuff so just make your oatmeal like normal with water or milk or whatever you want to do I screwed up. Normally you do the peanut butter after, but we'll make it work. Just pulled it out so I can put the water in, mix up the powder, and then we'll put the peanut butter back in. When adding the water, less is always more. Always, always, always go in small increments with the water, and then you'll reach the perfect amount. Like you can see this is a little runny, but I haven't added the peanut butter yet, so <clears throat> it'll thicken this up really well. All right, now we're gonna add our little flavor boost, a little bit of honey, a little bit of sea salt, makes it taste super good. Especially if you have kind of a weird uh, protein flavor that you're using, because you're running low on whatever. I normally do like fudge chocolate or whatever, VPNs. Fudge chocolate is really good for this. Okay, <laughs> came out way too quick. But uh, the sea salt, honestly, is one of my favorite parts of the whole thing. It gives it the perfect flavor to contrast because if you're weird about textures and stuff like that, the salt can kind of help distract from the super thick consistency with the peanut butter and the chocolate and stuff like that. Last but not least, we're going to add a banana. You can dice this up or slice it like I'm doing. Obviously it doesn't matter, it's however you wanna eat it, but dicing it will make it mix in better, but for time's sake, we're going with the slice. I'll have the macros on the screen, but this is gonna be over 50 grams of protein for sure. Uh, probably closer to 60 grams of protein and a good amount of carbs, so it's a perfect way to cap off the night, especially if you're low on your macros for the day. And this will be my last meal of the day on top of that protein smoothie that I just showed you guys. Megan is literally laughing so hard right now. She keeps on interrupting me as I'm trying to do this. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you... That's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing a different perspective from the full day of eating for someone on the go or 
if you're a broke college student trying to make do with the options on campus and still trying to hit your macros for whatever you're training for. If you found value in this video, be sure to give it a comment, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to find the line. If you found value in this video, oh. <laughs> stop!